Are you tired of shopping in stores? Spending hours looking through racks only to end up with nothing? Do you ever just wish you could sit at home and have exactly what you want magically appear at your front door? Well, now you can! Welcome to my easy multi-step course to online shopping like a pro. I'm your host, Amber Scholl, AKA Professor Shuho, and uh, online shopper extraordinaire. So sure, my degree is in shopping in general, but my specialty is online. So today I'm gonna to show you all of my industry secrets and tricks of the trade to becoming an expert online shopper. Not quite as good as me, of course, but you know, close. So here we go, today's lesson plan. How to shop online. It surprises me that most people don't know this, but today we're going to get to know our search bar. We're not just typing in black dress to Google and hoping for the best with all the results. No, we're gonna go straight to Google Shopping. It searches all the websites for what you're looking for all in one fell swoop. That way instead of a bunch of random websites, we're only seeing products available for purchase. Now that we know where we're typing, we need to know what we're typing. If you know what you want, make sure you're searching for it. Just like you wouldn't go to the grocery store and ask for some fruit, you don't go to Google and search dress. Get specific. Multiple keywords are the way to go. Remember, cats smell fabulous. Right, kitty? Yeah. <laughs> cats smell fabulous is just an acronym for color, style, fabric. You think strapless? Type it. Velvet? Type that too. A-line mini dress? You got it. Type in exactly what you're looking for, you're much more likely to find it. Tip numero dos, use the sorting tabs. They exist here on the side for a reason. Color, size, you can narrow down your search results until you basically get only exactly what you're looking for. And that is pretty damn cool. One of the most important tips, search by the price. If I sing it, will you remember it? Hopefully. Search by price. Rook bitch tip numero uno mas importante is sorting the prices low to high. That way you can see all the affordable things and you know, just for fun, <laughs> you can do the reverse too. Not like I'm gonna buy a $400 black sweater, but you know, a girl can dream. Goals. Another fabulous searching tip, search specific websites. If you know you're looking for home decor, search on house. If you know you're looking for affordable cute clothing, try Pretty Little Thing. Cute shoes, public desire. If you find a website you know and trust, searching on there directly within a website, oftentimes you'll get things that Google Shopping sometimes misses. Next important tip, look at the suggestions. Like sure, it's annoying when you search how to get a boyfriend one time and now all you get is match.com ads, but the suggestion page is there for a reason. Sometimes sites will even compare and contrast similar products, like Amazon will put them literally next to each other and show you all the stats. Heck, sometimes I find stuff I didn't even know I wanted. Like, do I want a 10 foot tall horse statue? Why yes, yes I do. Alrighty kids, speaking of sizes. When it comes to online shopping, size matters. Don't ignore the size chart. Specifically for clothes, make sure you read it so you don't end up with a bikini 16 times too small. <sighs> Buy a tape measure, they're like two bucks, and then you can always know exactly what size to order. And if it's a product, make sure you read the dimensions. I can't even tell you how many times I've thought I was ordering something like this, only to end up with something like this. Even when you do all that, sometimes you still order the wrong thing. But guess what? Very few online sales are final. So use that return button. So many sites let you have free returns. So buy a few things, try them on in real life, and then only keep the ones you want. Truly is like shopping in your own home. How cool is that? And you want to know the site with the best return policy in the world? My personal favorite site, Amazon. So this next tip is dedicated solely to telling you to get Amazon Prime. Trust me, you need it. It's like nine bucks a month, and you get free shipping on everything with no limit. I order six packages a day sometimes, don't ask, and honestly it pays for itself in like 30 seconds. Not to mention they have literally everything you ever wanted, ever. Like, actually ever. This isn't sponsored, but I am eagerly awaiting my Amazon sponsorship, so Amazon, hi. I'm here if you're interested. Have your people call me, people. We'll set something up. <laughs> Another fab tip, read product reviews. I know reading is like so 2007. Just kidding kids, reading is cool, smart is sexy. But reading reviews is your best friend when it comes to shopping online. Sometimes people even include pictures. If everyone says the product is great and looks just like the pictures, great, order it. If it says it's way too small and looks awful in person, well, maybe not. Another great tip is to shop around the holidays. Just like in person stores, online stores are always, always having online sales. Christmas sales, Halloween sales, Memorial Day sales, Fourth of July sales. There's no holiday I won't take a discount. 
or you might not like this one, but this is a great tip. Sign up for the email lists. I know, I know, no one likes signing up for email lists because who likes junk mail? But only sign up for the sites you shop on all the time and do it with a junk email account. That way you'll get notified of all the sales and can shop when the prices are best. Sometimes just for being part of the mailing list they send you coupons. And we all know I love me a good coupon. Professional tip number whatever number we're on. Just because you're not shopping in person doesn't mean there's no one to help you. Almost all online shopping websites have customer service hotlines. So call them! They can usually answer all your questions right away. Anxiety calling strangers? Don't worry, they usually have emails as well. And now a tip very close to my heart. Coupons! You can Google a coupon for basically every site that ever existed. Retail me not is a great site that I get a lot of mine on, and of course, utilize stuff like Uni Days, which is a student discount on a lot of clothing websites like Misguided, that gives you a 10% off everything. How cool is that? Next tip, make it a party. Shop with your friends. Shopping with friends is great because this way you're not alone on your couch with no one but your cardboard cutout of Harry Styles. Plus, you can ask a second opinion. Not that it really matters, I'll buy whatever it is anyway if it's sparkly, but, you know, still fun. If you're still someone who doesn't like to buy things without seeing them in person, guess what? Online shopping is still for you. Pull up exactly what you're looking for and you can usually do the check in store availability so that way you can go visit it before you buy it. This tip is for a little more tech savvy people, but if you're bad at picturing things, one of the best ways to know what you're getting when you shop is to Photoshop it. Photoshopping is a great way to get your imagination flowing if you're not good at picturing things. That way you can see it in your home before it's even there. That way you can kind of compare and contrast a couple of options, and once you order it, you know it's exactly what you're looking for. And now a tip after my own heart. Watch YouTube videos. No, I know this seems like just self-promo, but seriously, if there's a website you were considering buying something from, watch YouTuber reviews. You can often see videos dedicated directly to the product you're looking for or just a website in general. Plus you can see what they look like on a real person. Not to mention it's great for celebrity style dupes and looks for less. Like you wanted those shoes Kylie Jenner was wearing the other day, but you can't afford them? Well, maybe some really cool YouTuber will post a video about it. You're welcome. <laughs> Next tip, your wish is the internet's command. If they don't have it in store, they probably have it online. You want pumpkin spice candles in July? Well, Bath and Body Works probably isn't gonna have it, but guess what? Hop, skippity, jump online, found it. Just like I always say, if you believe in your dreams hard enough, they'll come true. And on the same note, if you look hard enough online, you'll find what you're looking for. And that, kids, is how to shop online. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson plan. And remember, if you can dream it, you can buy it on the internet. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and good luck out there, kids. Shop on. Okay, but actually I did buy this. What am I gonna do with this in my house?